welcome. First day of the week for this weekly vlog. I actually just posted my last week's weekly vlog, just like 30 minutes or so ago. I just got back from Bloomington and right now I'm stretching. So you're stretching with me because I am about to run. Sundays are unfortunately not rest days. So I just thought that I would catch up with you guys while I stretch before I run. I have to run three miles today. In my program where it's no longer the like, if you've been keeping up, it's been like 25 minute runs, three nine minute runs with like a two minute walk interval in between. And it's no longer that. We have graduated up to actual like distances every day. So today is a three mile run. I would be more scared about it, but like as I've been doing the training already, I've been running three miles. Right now, as of today, I'm not focusing on pace. I'm more focusing just on getting there. I will say that that is something that I'm going to start focusing on probably towards the end of February because I'm thinking about the timeline that I have. Oh, you're stretching too? You're stretching too. <laughs> I get a doggy treadmill and then have her go out and do it with me while I run, she runs. It's very important to stretch though before you do anything. If you guys, sometimes like you guys will see my gym clips every day I stretch before lifting or anything like that because it's so important. There's been a few times I've just like genuinely forgot to stretch and you feel it, especially with running. I feel like you need to stretch. And for me, I feel like my hips lock up and they give me a lot of trouble. Today's Sunday, which is like my reset day of the week and i really only have two things that are like big on the to-do list right now which is to do this three mile run i'm gonna run to the grocery store it's not gonna be as like expansive as last week since i am just one person and i cook for myself like when i buy like i'll buy like salmon and chicken but that lasts me honestly a really long time so my plan is to get this run done and then just go straight to the grocery store this week we kind of have a theme sometimes like my week in the life vlogs have a theme like last week i feel like it was kind of like getting on a routine, focusing on waking up at 5 a.m., which obviously we're continuing, but like last week was the first week. This week, we're having a glow up week. And honestly, it's like so random. It just happened to be like all of my like maintenance appointments are this week. <laughs> I actually have a hair appointment on the 24th, which I think is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. We have an eyelash appointment on Tuesday. I have to go to the dentist on Thursday, <laughs> and I think, Friday. Me and my mom booked this studio for me to take pictures at. I'm using it more as like a studio so I can update like my banner and YouTube profile picture but she wanted to take some pictures of me for my birthday so I was like whatever we can just do two birds one stone thing. But I also think tomorrow I'm gonna go try to go get my nails done. I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. go to the gym then go get my nails done. So glow up. So that's kind of our theme. Meanwhile we're still vlogging but our theme is that we're, we're glowing up this week so that's great. Let's go do my three mile run. I'm about to film for TikTok though and uh, do my updates. I feel like it's been a bit. I haven't updated for my half marathon training in a bit. We're back at it today. Yeah, I know that, that, that cut is not making it because I look awful in it. Let's go. Done with the grocery shop. Pick myself up some Chipotle chips, side of queso, and my little bowl. Both running and grocery shopping were the things that I was dreading the most today. I am just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Just straight up chill. I like my Sunday nights. We chill. <gasps> Rachel just uploaded a new vlog. Oh my gosh. This is the best. This is the best. This is actually being a girl right here, eating Chipotle and watching your besties on YouTube. I'm about to take a shower and then I'm just probably gonna watch the Chiefs read a little bit. I actually now have a fear that I talk too much and like over explain. So I've gotten a comment or two that are like, don't explain what you're about to do, just show it. I don't know how to vlog. I may take you guys along for the rest of the night. I may not. This may pick up tomorrow morning. Who freaking knows? We're continuing the waking up at 5 a.m. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta do the, do the 
shake. We're continuing the 5 a.m. wake up this week. Honestly, it felt really good last week to wake up at 5 a.m. So super psyched about doing that this week as well. With my bestie right here. Got my bestie. If you think I look rough this morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. 5.14 a.m. Okay guys, let's start this morning routine. So I wake up as you guys saw to my alarm and the first thing that I do every single morning is I go downstairs to get some water and my pre-workout snack. I eat these right here which are the Kodak, Kodiak, I can never remember waffles. It's just one protein waffle I eat and then I go and get a glass of water because I try to make sure that I have a glass of water like as soon as I wake up to just start my water intake for the day and I just feel like it really helps when I'm putting food and caffeine on my stomach to also have water in my system and then while I wait for my waffle to be done this is kind of the time that I just contemplate my life honestly I mean just look I'm just kind of sitting out in the distance waiting and just waiting some more until the waffle's done and then finally when the waffle's done I grab that and then we actually head back on upstairs for me to start planning out my day before I go to the gym so basically I grab my laptop I grab my planners and I sit down and basically go through my notion my habit tracker my reading log and just update information and look at what I need to do for the day and plan out what I need to do and then it's time to get ready for the gym I grab an outfit and I do this little transition yeah every day every day I do this little transition right here boom so cool but then it's time to get ready you know doing my hair usually I'm trying to slick it back because I hate hair in my face and putting on lotion and perfume and then grabbing my coat because today we're just gonna head straight to the gym today's actually quad day when I was filming this so the first thing I do at the gym is get some cardio in whether that's stair climber or walking today was walking i tried to walk for at least 30 minutes at the gym get my alani's in this is when the carbonation hit me but i walk and then go straight into my ab workout on mondays wednesdays and fridays um i actually will put the ab workout on the screen but i actually hate hitting abs like it's like my least favorite thing to do but i still manage to do them every monday wednesday friday and then i'm going to go straight into stretching i cannot tell you guys how important stretching is i take at least five minutes and work out all of the muscle groups that i'm going to be working out that day yeah hi this is me stretching but i just find it very important to stretch and then we're going to go straight into some squats this is just some uh, not barbell barbell yeah actually right here I, yeah i clipped off my nail right there it actually hurt really bad but we're just going into some like back squats i actually didn't feel too strong this day i think i just like stopped at 35s but i was just trying to get higher reps but yeah i was really tired and then i went directly into bulgarian split squats these are great for quads but i have terrible balance as you see so it's kind of hard for me and that is all of the gym footage that we got so then i just go straight home on most days and you know make breakfast and all of that good stuff so if you guys want a full video just on my morning routine like you just guys want me to make a video of an in-depth morning routine let me know down below and we can make that into either like a youtube video a tiktok reel you guys know the whole drill it's no longer 5 a.m so we have the like super what do you call this like surgical lighting it's 8 15 a.m right now guys just made breakfast so here's what we have going on in the spread today eggs toast banana yogurt so right now is my chill unwind time this is how it is every morning where this is like my designated time where i just eat breakfast watch youtube just kind of mentally get ready for the day that's what i'm about to do anyone wanted to know workout was good i don't know how i'm gonna feel about that yogurt honestly then after i'm done i'm gonna go to the nail salon get these are gonna be my birthday nails so literally like no pressure or nothing. No pressure or anything. Also, I think I'm going to go downstairs and make a coffee, but I have to drink this whole entire thing. It's 5.08 a.m. I actually woke up as soon as he... Oh. Good morning. I actually woke up as soon as the alarm started going off. That's kind of crazy. Time to get up and ready. Oh, I only walked 
two cherry slushes the other day at the store. Why didn't I buy more? Let me get my cup so I can do. I know I've said this before, but I actually can't chug water because it makes me extremely ill. Like that's giving it all I got. Anyway, yes, this, what? <laughs> Yesterday, I literally just sat and edited all day. The video is still not done, but I just have like the last 10 or so minutes to edit of it. Granted, you know, the video is literally only 30 minutes long. So I don't know how long that shall take. I don't think it's gonna take a whole lot of time. I think when I get home today, I'm gonna be able to edit plus upload it. Um, my eyelash appointment is at two o'clock. Usually it's early, but ooh. So we've got some time before. I keep on now thinking about my dentist appointment on Thursday. It's just gonna be worse if I put it off, you know? Like I can't put it off because then I'm just now gonna be thinking about it. Oh, I forgot my, um, my tripod, I left it in the car. So that sucks, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm loving this set. I think it's so cute. It has that little, it's so cute and they're flares. Like I think that it's adorable, actually. I really do. Today is back in biceps day. So we love that. I think I already have my to-do list. No, I don't. Okay, let's go ahead and write down the to-do list for the day. We have my work to-do list, which is to finish editing 24 hours and then post the 24 hour video. What do we got on the agenda today? Yesterday, I got literally everything on my to-do list done for the day. I said I wanted to work out, get my nails done, put away laundry, and pick up my room. And I did all of that yesterday. Honestly, like that time between when I was, that time between when I was going to, um, about to go to my nail appointment, I literally picked up my entire room and put my laundry away. And then I went to the nail appointment, which was a sleigh. I really just threw on the first hoodie that I could find. Not not loving this look today. Not vibing with myself today. <laughs> Finally got this set up to where it actually works for my workout, like synced to my phone again. <sighs> Philip has bought a rattle and head on out of here. I look bald. Hey. I look like she's bald. She hates people that have hair. <laughs> How does that TikTok audio go? She's bald. She's bald and she hates people who have hair. I literally like that. Oh, there's somebody just ominously at the end of the street. Oh, they turned. They turned. All right, I need chapstick. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, no, wrong one. I don't have it in me to find the other one. Something about recording my life like this, it's funny because I'm gonna watch that back and watch literally my thought process go across my face. I'm not reaching back in my purse just to get the other chapstick, but going to the freaking gym, everybody, time is 5, 50 a.m. that I can't just like jam out on YouTube. Anywho, 7.30 done with the workout for today. There's something in my stomach that's not feeling too hot. But do you wanna know what it is? Cause I feel like I do quickly work off like my pre-workout snack. So sometimes I feel like chugging a whole entire Alani on like barely anything in my system makes me feel a little you guys really care about this. Like this is a dilemma that you guys are like, what is she gonna eat for breakfast? Anyway, let's go back to my playlist. What, I'm gonna listen to my sad music. <laughs> this song 
is like me right now. Thought it's so aesthetic. Took it cause I can. Another day pretending older than I am. But it's me who's been making the Right, I left my tripod in the car again. Here's what breakfast is looking like. Here's my plan. I am about to sit down, eat breakfast, finish editing my 24 hour readathon, get that uploading, and pick up my room. And then I'm gonna run my, for my uh, half marathon training today, which is just two miles. I don't know what time that'll be. And then my last appointment is at due. So I'm gonna have to leave here at 1.30. My family is obsessed with watching young Sheldon. Like it's, constantly on the TV and I think it's so funny. Anyway, what I was saying was that my video is exporting from Final Cut right now that I'm gonna upload it, do the thumbnail and stuff. So I came down here to grab some coffee. Look at this cute girl. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Gonna sip on that while I do my thumbnail. Got a little bit more time before I have to run. <laughs> when I get home from my appointment, everything for the day that I have to like do is done, okay? So it's like, you're done with the day. Now you can just like read and film for videos. Well, hello there. I'm done running. I ran my two miles and got up off the treadmill. Okay, didn't, I was not feeling running today. Took a quick shower. I feel a thousand times better. Like showers really sometimes are the answer to everything. I have about an hour before I need to leave for my eyelash appointment. I just came up with a different video idea. I was supposed to be filming video this whole entire week. And then I was like, mm, I just don't feel like reading what I'm supposed to read for that. So I'm putting that video off maybe until February maybe March. I'm just, it's, it's like a video idea that I want to do, but I'm not personally excited for, if that makes any sense. I'm putting it off and I am going to do like a mood read with me vlog since it's the last week, like full week. I'm wanting to do like a mood read vlog where I basically just am like picking up whatever books that I want, not really worrying about it and still like making a video out of it. I feel like this would be a fun video like once every month maybe the last week of the month will kind of be dedicated to that like a what i read in a week slash mood reading like as a booktuber kind of seeing like the back like behind the scenes of things let me know down below if that's something that you guys want going to appointments make me so like ugh, in a way like i get really shaky sometimes my anxiety runs to everything and i start making up scenarios that like i know aren't true but my brain is telling me that they're true and it's so weird to live in a mindset where like your anxiety is telling you one thing but then like your brain knows that it's not true but both of the thoughts are true at once if you know what i'm saying like you're believing your anxiety but you're also believing like your brain telling you that that's like not true Ugh, it's like i i don't know i live with that a lot sometimes and it's like the most frustrating and weird thing to experience i'm gonna head out to my eyelash appointment. I'm also going to be working on like a reel this week because last year for like up until March I think like every week I would post like a what I read this week over on my reels and I really want to start that again because I really like doing those. I think it's very interesting to see like with videos and just even like mood reading like what a like youtuber who like books is their job like their main priority reads in a week. So yeah. Okay. I just got done with my lash appointment and now I said that I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because I don't have to like go back and edit anything. I don't have a video to film, so we're freaking going to Trader Joe's just because I want to. And we have a little haul, so let me see. I don't think there's anything else in here. I got, I got a bunch of roses. Then I got some snacks. So I went there for these. These are the dark chocolate covered almonds. These are my, literally probably one of my favorite things ever. And whenever I run out of them, I get so sad because I don't feel like driving to like 40 minutes. Truly phenomenal. I got these for dinner tonight. My mom got some coconut shrimps. 
I got some banana chips. Then I got some macaroons. I've never had macaroons before, so maybe we'll try these. These are so cute. There's some gummy X's and O's. Let's see what these are about. Try one of these O's. These are these are dangerous. These are good. These are good. I'm kind of I'm kind of randomly wanting to play Animal Crossing. Well, hi there. Good morning. It's 4.22 right now. Quite simply woke up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, let's get going with our day. I just brushed my teeth. Oh my God, I look like crazy because I just took a shower. I honestly am like, I woke up at four o'clock and part of it is because I felt my phone. Like I got a text and I was like, what time is it? Like who's texting me at this time of morning? And it was Isaac because he doesn't go to bed until like five. I wake up at five, he goes to bed <laughs> at that time. I text him and I swear it's because of like when you shove your phone in your face first thing in the morning. And then I think potentially I could have went back to bed and I had this like moment where I was like, okay, I usually get up at five. Why not just start my day right now? Like why not get to the gym at like 5.30? So that's what we're doing. It's literally 4.25 right now. I wanted to get to the gym at like 5.30 and then we could be done with the gym at like maybe around 6, 7-ish. To me, that's a lot better because my hair appointment is at 10. So I'm going to have to leave the house at like 9, 9.15-ish. And I just like to have time to freak out about an appointment. Or like I want plenty of time to like have breakfast, you know? It's a sleigh. Okay. So I'm going to plan out my day. Today is super busy so here's basically what i'm gonna have to do today so i have my hair appointment at 10 and if you know you know those hair appointments take a long time and then i keep going to get home and i need to film i need to film a video that i'm trying to get sent over tomorrow or friday and also we're going to be filming our podcast today so then i need to edit the podcast episode later we have a lot going on today but i also need to look up hair and spell like i know what i'm going to do for my hair but i kind of want to get curtain bangs cut i got them cut a year ago and i never got them like updated <laughs> or whatever i'm going to update my to-do list watch some youtube while i get ready it's 4 44 oh 4 4 4 okay and i am ready for the gym i have given up on the like yes it's freezing outside but i've given up on like doing the layers to go into the gym because i take them off as soon as i get in there and I'm like, I don't want to carry around sweatpants and a sweatshirt and all that stuff. So <sighs> we're leaving. I am leaving my room in a little bit of shambles, but I'm literally going to clean it up when I get home after I eat breakfast. Fill up the water bottle really quick. It feels like a spring day. My shoe just flew off under the car. Awesome. It's like all the way under the car. Little stuff like that. I guess you would see me. Little stuff like that on a different morning would probably send me to a spiral. Oh, it feels like a spring day outside. Like this feels like what it does like when I wake up in the morning in like April. It's 45 degrees outside. What is going on? Last week, it was in the negatives. It was so freezing. I was like, I'm not even stepping outside. And now it's 45 degrees. That's what living here in Indiana is like. It's cold one day, warm, warmer the next. Shoot, if it was like this though, I would not complain. I would not, I love this weather. Like I love the beginning of spring. I really love that weather. Like when you wake up in the morning and it's kind of like 45, 50 degrees and it's rainy. Like I love the rainy season. I love it so much. 450 right now. I look like Ben 10. We're heading to the gym at 450 and I know it may be annoying to listen to me be like, oh my god, I'm just so like waking up early. But I'm just like astounded. Like if I could wake up every day at 4 a.m. I genuinely would.
p.m. wake up has officially caught up to me. Right before I have to go into a hair appointment, I have decided to just feel completely lethargic. <gasps> anyway, a pretty uneventful morning. I came home, made my breakfast, ate, picked up my room, put laundry away, like took a shower. It was really productive. And then for the past like hour and a half, I sat and I finished a book. I was reading Crimson River because now that I got more than halfway through the Eden series, I am now attached to the idea of finishing it. I only have one more book left. And those books are like what? Maybe, it may be in the 300 pages. They're so short and I get through them so quickly. All a three star. Oh, I'm not gonna get into this. This is in a reading vlog. Now I'm going to my hair appointment. I have a whole lot to do today and it's a gloomy, rainy day, so the motivation is not there. Here's a weird thing that's happened to me throughout the past few days. I have heard this through multiple different, multiple different YouTubers in their vlogs that I've been watching. I like clicked on a random person's vlog like that I've never watched before and they said this. And then I was watching like an old vlog of YouTubers that I watched and they said this. And like, I've just seen it so many places. It's not like everybody's saying it right now, but it was that motivation isn't going to like get you to goals or just whatever it may be. It's discipline. And I was like, that is so real honestly motivation is not there i would probably say 80 percent of the time it's not motivation is why i do things i definitely think it falls back on having discipline and building discipline towards certain habits and have those habits like make you feel and stuff like for example one of the things that i started to do is the like making my bed every morning picking up my room every single morning like dedicating like 10 minutes that's it towards just making sure that the room is picked up and that's not because i'm motivated to like clean the room it's just the act of discipline of doing it that makes that a habit i'm not motivated i would probably say out of the five times a week that i go to the gym probably only two of those days are full of like motivation if that like if that that's like a good week that two of them are like oh yeah i'm like yeah but i'm motivated like especially running to me with a half marathon training that I'm doing, that is not motivation. That is just having to have, I know that I have to have the discipline for it. And I don't know, I've just been thinking about that because like even me saying like, I'm not motivated to do like, you know, I have to film a video today, film a podcast, edit both of those. It's not like the motivation that's driving me to do it. It's the discipline of like knowing that you're doing something and that that reward is gonna be good when you do it, you know, like the way you're gonna feel. It's just how I'm feeling. Hello everybody, it is literally 8 o'clock at night. I came home from my appointment and I immediately started filming the podcast. I just got done doing that and I went downstairs and made dinner. Like, all of that stuff is just now done. So I'm coming up to unwind for the night, waiting for the footage to upload so I can start editing the pod. I think I might start reading a book to unwind. I ordered a few things on Amazon because we're taking photos and I wanted some accessories and just some accessories period. So I ordered some of these like gold bracelets. I think they're supposed to be like Cartier dupes. Ordered another one. Bought this like roped one that I thought was cute and I bought a new Apple watch band. One that was more plain and one that I still feel like it's like very stretchy that I can still wear to the gym. And it makes sense like at the gym, but also it's just plain that I can wear out. And then I also ordered some initial necklaces. So I got this D and then I got an I one. From House of Jupiter, she did a launch for like in honor of Crescent City 3. And basically she just released like a Sarah J Mass and it says Massiverse and it has like famous quotes from all three series so of course i was like i need one of these for when i'm sitting down and reading crescent city so i bought the t-shirt but i also bought the crew neck because i i couldn't help myself i was like yeah well what if i'm like what if i want to get the t-shirt mm, what if i want to get the crew neck so i got both so that is my little haul oh also i think the other pop is coming next week but did i buy this pop yeah i did I also did an update about the hair. I got some curtain bangs. You can't see because I don't really like have them super styled right now. But hair appointment went great as usual. How I was stressing out about the dentist tomorrow, it got canceled. Not that I reschedule it. They called and they were like, oh, the hygienist is sick. Like, can, they originally were like, can you come now? My mom was like, she's not even home. 
and they were like, oh, well, we'll just reschedule it for February. And I was like, hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday. <sighs> I am stretching. I'm about to go for my run. It is about 12.30 in the afternoon right now. I already went to the gym this morning, made breakfast, showered, posted the podcast. I just filmed the video for my physical TBR. So before I sit down and start editing that, I thought that I would go ahead and get my run in. We're running two miles today. Um, I feel like I haven't like actually like dreaded, like just not wanting to run at all so far, which honestly, like it's been, it's not been a month yet, but it's like almost been a month, probably three weeks of training for this half marathon. And for somebody who hates running, like I do, I'm stretching by the way, I just thought I would talk when I stretch. But for someone who hates running as much as I do, I was like, wow, this is honestly really surprising that like I haven't ran into a day yet where I just genuinely don't want to run. <sighs> Welcome to that day. Like, this is where it comes down to like discipline versus motivation. I've been on like the verge of tears. Like I'm 95% there. And like all these little things are like adding up to make me want to like have a huge mental breakdown. So that sucks. I'm just really trying to stretch my hip area out because honestly that's the only area that gets like really bad after I run. So yeah, for the rest of the day, Honestly, I'm just gonna be editing. I can hear that my dad just brought in packages that <laughs> I ordered. It sucks that I feel like this right before my birthday. It sucks. I'll tell you that. I feel this like tight chest feeling, can't breathe, just on the verge of tears all day. I'm gonna go on the bright side. I really like my watch band that I bought. Really, really working. Also, I did ask for curtain bangs yesterday and I really like how those look. So that's a positive. I have two miles to run, so I gotta go run those. I'm editing right now. I saw earlier that people posted that for some reason, because I'm very conflicted about it. Sarah J Mass posted the prologue and first chapter of Crescent City 3. And I saw people talking about it and I was like, I, I'm not gonna read it because I just prefer, like, I don't want the snippet. I just wanna like go in and read it. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not reading it. But then people started posting like about it. Like they'd be like, warning, spoiler, like don't, whatever. And I was like, mm. you know, then if I know other people are, because at first I thought like nobody's gonna read it. And now I'm heavily debating and I'm texting Sarah and I'm like, should I read it? Because my first instinct is like, no, I want to wait. Like, I just want the full experience of reading the first chapter and just going into it. Like when I have the book in my hands, but then Sarah was like, yeah, I would wait. I mean, I like skimmed it and I was like, now I want to read it. Oh. In the first chapter? So we're just going in with pain. That is, do I read it? Do I read it, do I not? Do I read it, do I not? Do I read it, do I not? Mm. And well, I decided that I'm gonna get dinner right now. I'm gonna get Chipotle. You know what, I'm gonna get this finished because I started reading The Wishing Game and it was so, heartwarming and sweet like the parts that I was reading and so I want to finish that and then tomorrow I want to really work on like editing this vlog that way if, like the weekend I can spend reading so celebrating my birthday by reading that's what I want to do <sighs> I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because it is literally now seven o'clock <laughs> so it's a few hours later but I went and got like dinner and stuff Sarah texted me and said that she went and read it so now I have to go and read it Huh? Why does it say the site is going under maintenance? Why does it say the site is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance? Guys, what the heck? You're, you're joking. Okay. Um, all right. Literally what is going on? I don't know if it's because they're, no, it said scheduled maintenance. 
I don't know what's going on. Sarah said that she screenshotted the last sentence before because it logged her out and now she can't get on the website either because she was going to like screen record it and send it to me but now she can't. Why do I want to throw up? I was already feeling like this. I'm having like, oh, I'm scared. I, I'm on the floor that I'm literally like nauseous with anxiety, not over this, just in general, I'm nauseous with anxiety and I kind of want to just like put myself to sleep. I could have fucking slayed in 20th century London, okay? No bats. I think I'm going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Hello. It is obviously the next morning. I got back home from the gym, like i think nearly like two hours ago it is oh i left my apple watch it's around nine i have like an hour and a half to get ready because we're gonna go take pictures at this place so i need to get ready i actually have a little haul for you guys got a few packages in uh the other day i got a few packages in yesterday and i unboxed them all from shop Kristen jo jones i think I that's the crew neck I was wearing yesterday is from there and then I got this to wear on Valentine's Day it says all this and brains too and then I got me and Sarah these matching shirts for our Valentine's episode it says I love being Delulu also this was like so random a few months ago in October in October when they did this 1989 release on Taylor's website I ordered it and it just came in but I love this hoodie I'm actually going to be wearing this today so it says 1989 taylor's version but i got it because i love like back graphics this is so cute um i also got this one this one just has a front graphic i put in an order at free people and i got some stuff like running stuff so this is their like i think it's called like free run jumpsuit i don't know it's cute like you wear like a sports bra under this and then I got this. This is like their kind of like retro vintage line. This reminded me of like the 90s when I feel like a lot of people would just wear like the shirts with like the random number on it. This is another. I got these running shorts. I thought that these were so cute. And then I also got these. They're like the other running shorts. I had seen this girl on TikTok post like spring outfit inspo, even though like literally we're in January and it's not going to start getting warm until like maybe May. You know, sometimes stuff is sold out on free people. So these were... Um, they're just like these short rompers and they have like a low back and they have little pockets on the side. They're very like flowy and loose. And then I also got it in this green color. I need to be getting ready for the pictures. We need to leave here at like 11 and I need to do my hair and I need to do my makeup, which honestly it's not going to take me a long time. So I think I'm just going to kind of like straighten my hair for the birthday portion of the pictures. I got this dress it has a very low back. I love it. I wish I actually like had somewhere to go to wear this. It's like beautiful. My mom wanted to do a photo shoot for my birthday. I don't really, I hate making like a big deal of birthdays and I definitely don't try to make a big deal of my birthday, but I'm turning 21 and that's like, I feel like 18 and 21 are like the big milestone birthdays, but I feel like 21 is like the birthday that like everybody like goes crazy for. I'm not like doing anything on my birthday, but we're just like taking photos because of course my mom's a photographer, so she's like, I want to take photos. So I got this dress like more than a month ago. I'm gonna put this on because this is easy to like take on and off and then we'll throw something on over it. I just did my makeup and I have on my little jumpsuit. I have on this. I'm not putting on lip stuff yet. I put on lip stuff like last. Looks a little. I like will put, I like wear makeup. Like you guys see me in makeup but I don't do like dramatics. Like oh my god the eyeshadow. I hate eyeshadow. For some reason it takes me back to high school and I just don't like it. I need to get some stuff together. We have the birthday outfit but I need to get books and my other outfit that I want to wear. So oh, oh you know let's get I'm gonna go downstairs and make a coffee first. I made this coffee and I tried to like top it with cinnamon because so people do that. And it never like goes into the drink. Hmm. Actually tastes good today. It's promising. This is very promising. We have the dress. I need to grab all of the accessories that I need. I need to grab books. What books? Okay. I met the woman here. 
here and this is like her house. I want to ask her if she designs houses and can she design mine. I'm going to give you guys like a little tour of the space. We're almost done with these pictures. Look, this is like a no prop, but the icing is so good. Oh, I just want to keep eating. My mom's like, come here, take them. I'm like, mm. Coffee's watered down. Oh, sure it is. We successfully took the photos and we laughed a lot and had a great time. This whole entire neighborhood is so pretty. Like any of these houses, I would take, I would take any of them if anybody was giving them. But what I couldn't say because I didn't want to be loud because she was like upstairs the entire time. So we, I didn't really want to like talk loud and disturb her while we were taking pictures. She's giving us a little tour. Like we basically. She rent out I think like the downstairs of the house to like take pictures and stuff in and I literally wanted to ask her if She was the one who decorated the home like the interior design because it was just like so Tastefully done where like I like to think that if I was given the materials like I could do it But at the end of the day, I don't think that I could do something like that just everything from the wallpaper to how cohesive the wallpaper furniture like even just the little decorations I'm like this is literally my living breathing dreaming pinterest board right here like i love it because we all know i'm a very colorful girly as well like i love color and i've always looked at like colors in homes and how to do that in like a tasteful like classy way it was executed perfectly in this house every every single every single detail and i was just love the house like it was so like i would love to just like that would be my home. Got some new YouTube banner, new YouTube profile pic coming soon. It may or may not already be up. Now we're gonna head back home. I have an exciting package. I me and Sarah did a podcast episode and I was talking about how in the last week's vlog, Alani sent me the new Cherry Twist Alani. Of course, Sarah was like, do a ranking. And then I was like, well, Cherry Slush and Blue Slush, like it, you guys know, you guys know, they're my absolute faves. And Alani kindly reached out and they were like, Bessie will send you some cherry and blue slush Alani's. Ugh. Cherry slush. This is the best day ever. Mm -hmm. 